guys, welcome to Chat Strings and Things. And I'm back here getting ready to try to make some trees up. Trying something. I got the Woodland Scenics, but I'm going to try to use the regular tacky glue as I'm out of the Woodland Scenics glue for trees. And I got some more ordered coming in. I was like, I got all this tacky glue. Why not give it a try? So I'm going to put it on, kind of do like the other glue, put it on, let it dry for 15 minutes or so, see if it gets tacky. Then try to see, see if it works or not. And. I figured I'd take you all along with me. So, I'm gonna show you one way or other if it works or doesn't work. That way you know if this, this will be for you. You see, I got some of them trees already kind of bent out, twisted around. For those of you who don't know, Living Sinks basically comes with flat trees like this, and you gotta twist them up to make them all look good. Of course, remove that, and I can just kind of show you. I just kind of been twisting them different ways and everything else just a minute. So, next I'm going to take some of the tacky glue, just paint on the edges, on the tips. This one needs twisted some more. I'm just looking at it better. On the edges, let dry, then try putting some of the foam on it and see what happens. So, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I got a little glue on my layout in front of you there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these, blank ones, a paintbrush, and I'm basically going to take it. I'm going to paint the glue onto where I want the foam to stick to it. Trying not to get it really thick. I'll try to stay in camera here so you can see. As I'm should be not watching through the camera. I'm watching what I'm doing on my end. But, you know, I got a little wet. But the brush kind of lets me control where I get the glue on the trees at. Like I said, this is just uh, me trying something. Because I got all this Aileen's take of glue. I... Normally do not use this at all for trees. I use either spray adhesive or the actual Woodland Scenics tacky glue, which works great. That, that's what I'm gonna try here, waiting like the 15 minutes, letting it dry a little bit and see if it actually is tacky or not. And I figured, you know, I'm trying it out. So why not just do it for everybody watching the video to see if it's gonna work or not. If it works, great. There's a cheaper glue you can pick up at Walmart to build trees out of. Make sure everything, you notice I'm not putting it on thick, like I said, I want it to dry faster. And thus, here's where I want the foam to stick. So I'm gonna stick that over here on the, my foam that I'm holding them up. I'm gonna do the rest of my trees like that and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to foam it. So see you in a second. Okay, I was just messing. It's been about 15 minutes or so, so I'm just gonna try it and see. And basically, all I'm gonna do is take my foam, which I've got really cut down into smaller pieces, and just start pushing it into it. I'm actually gonna push it in to help maybe get it to stick a little better. See what happens here. And like I said, I don't know how this is gonna work any more than any of y'all do, and I, that's what I was wondering about. Well, it's called tacky glue. This stuff ain't really the tackiest in the world. As you can see, it's just not the bigger clumps, almost way too much for this, for the Aileen's. Well, darn. I was hoping for something good to happen here, but I, but it's not gonna work. I can tell you right now, this is not gonna work. Let's see, it's not holding it at all. Okay, so, be back trying something else, see in a few. Okay, because I had them out already, I end up taking them outside and spraying them with spray glue and coming back in. And this is what I came up with for this tree. Just playing with it. But the Aileen's tacky glue is not sticky enough to hold. I'll tell you that now. So you're gonna have to use spray glue, really strong hairspray or even the Woodland Scenics tacky glue they use, which works great, too. But, yes, yeah, so I'm going to take these other three trees outside. I do spray outside with things, so I want the fumes inside my house. Let them spray and let them dry, but I'll be back shortly with some more updates what I'm doing around the layout. Okay, so here are the four trees I started out with trying to use tacky glue. I went ahead and sprayed them and attached stuff 
to them, make them look. Now once they dry, I'll have to pick some stuff off of them. The problem using the spray glue is it's hard to control what gets glue on it, so then you end up with glue replaced where you don't want foam to be glued to them. But, oh, and after I spray them, I put the foam on, I actually spray again, and then to actually try to fill in little spots where stuff didn't get on the first time. So it actually, you know, they are actually sprayed twice. But yeah, so I'll go through when they dry and pick them clean and just clean them up a little bit more. But for the most part, these are looking pretty good for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just make a bunch more trees for all this and maybe work on a few other small things. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, and I'm back. I found these mini cherry blossom trees from Ashland, of course. They're from Michaels. And no, I'm decided I'm not gonna do a new item Sunday if all I get is trees from Michaels, because you all have seen them all. And if I find anything different in there bought like this, if I don't have a lot of items where I do an episode, I'll just show them off before I actually use them. So just kind of show you what they look like. I'm sure what they're gonna, what I'm gonna do with them, it's back here in the subdivision, you can see the two holes. I've done pulled the two trees that were in there. They're sitting off to the side just in case they don't like it. I think I'll set these in here like they've been planted in the subdivision by these, these big cherry blossom trees that have gotten real big. I think they're gonna look cool back over there and it'll be something different amongst all these different green colored trees that I have around here. So I'm gonna open them up, get them glued into place, and I'll come back and we'll see what they look like. So see you in a second. Okay, there they are. I'm liking them. I like to actually like them a lot. This one's kinda leaning. The camera is making them look a lot brighter than what they really are. Especially this one. This one right here looks like it's super bright on the camera. And in person, it's not nearly that bright. Same with this one. The pink on the camera looks a lot brighter than what it actually is in person. I like them. I think they look good back there. Something different. Some nice coming down. I like them. I'm thinking about maybe buying a couple more packs of them, maybe to use somewhere else. I'm still kind of adjusting them a little bit due to the house. But yeah. But anyways, when it comes to the trees, comment down below. Let me know what you think about them. I can always, if I decide I don't like them, pull them up and put the other regular trees back in there. But right now I'm liking them. It's like they're leaning a little bit. So I may have to get some key pins to help hold them up till they dry like I want them. Or maybe I'll let them lean just a little bit because a lot of trees don't grow straight up anyway. So, but yeah, I'm really liking them. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about them. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, after planting them two, the two trees I took out of that spot, I planted one there, and I planted the other right there. So I'm gonna work on this. This is my next area when I'm back, we're actually working on scenery, not working on the building. So I can go back and work on scenery, and just do a little bit at a time. But after doing all this here, and getting this whole scene done in last week's episode this little area here that was just like the static grass i really didn't like it so what i'm gonna do as you can see i got i came through and wet it down and cleaned out the static grass and green foam that was there and cleaned give me a smooth i took these two pieces of foam they're kind of curved and i got them slanted and i'm actually going to use some of my spackle over top of it all to fill in the gaps and clean it all around the edges just putting a little bit of a hill there, just something to break up how flat it all is around here besides for the hill with the house on. So it makes it like there's another little hill that popped up there in front of the haunted house. But I won't do anything, I want the glue to dry so it don't move around before I start putting spackle on it. And so the spackle and working on it all probably be part of next week's episode because I'm gonna give that a good 12 plus hours for that glue to dry. I just did it while I was sitting here messing around. I'm not sure what kind of order some of this is all gonna be put into in the video, but yeah. Anyways, actually I am sure. That's probably gonna do it for this video because I'll be pushing probably 10 minutes long with the tree build I did while I was messing with other stuff because I was running out of trees and everything else. So I think I am gonna end it right there. As always, I want to thank you for watching. 
If you like the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and if you hit that little bell notification, you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video, which right now is what one video, two videos, probably a week with summer going on, as I just upload and record as I actually work on it, because I don't work on the layout all that much. To me, it's a hobby. I come back and enjoy it when I can. I don't want to make it a job, or I just get tired of doing it. And truthfully, I come back and just run trains more than anything, which is what this is for, is running the trains, not actually building stuff, even though I do enjoy doing the scenery like this. Anyways, as always, leave comments down below what you think, and make sure you comment on them two cherry trees. I really do want to hear what y'all think about them. I'd love to hear what, about it all. And I guess that's going to do it. Again, if you stuck around and watched the whole video, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on Chad's Trains and Things. Bye for now.